With the war between Russia and Ukraine and the fear of a nuclear conflict, there has been a surge in requests for the construction of nuclear bunkers at their home. Atomic bunkers spread with the emergence of nuclear weapons, particularly during the Cold War period. They are typically built underground and are designed to defend against chemical and biological weapons. But how long can the human body survive inside a nuclear bunker? One week? One month? One year? Let's try to give an answer. Let's first briefly see what a nuclear bunker looks like. It must be built at a depth of about one and a half meters, maximum three meters. You should not dig too deep, considering that in the event of a collapse or obstruction of the access doors, you would be really too underground and would not be able to go up to a surface. The outer shell of the bunker is made of reinforced concrete, which acts both as a load-bearing structure and as a containment screen for nuclear radiation. In the last video, which you can find by clicking above, we have seen what are the effects on the body in the event of an atomic bomb exploding and what are the devastating effects of nuclear radiation. There must be an anteroom equipped with a decontamination shower and two hermetically sealed armored doors before reaching the survival cell. The walls must be in reinforced concrete with a thickness ranging between 30 and 80 centimeters in order to resist explosions. Plaster should not be used, which could crumble as a result of the shock waves given off by the explosion of an atomic bomb and cause damage to health. There must be an aeration system essential to allow the exchange of air and avoid breathing harmful elements such as carbon dioxide emitted from our mouth during normal breathing. It also serves to prevent moisture from damaging food supplies. There must therefore be suction ducts and valves equipped with purifying filters that supply and renew the air. How long can you survive inside a nuclear bunker? Difficult to answer exactly. The answer depends first on the location and type of nuclear explosion, and then on the amount of food and water we have available. The larger the bunker, the more space will be available to place stocks. Supplements will be needed to provide you with an adequate supply of vitamins, as you will not have fresh fruit and vegetables available. You will need a supply of vitamin D, as you will not be able to get it from sun exposure. Weeks locked inside a tiny room will send your brain to a tailspin. Keep him active by reading books, drawing, or practicing other hobbies. Generally, in an atomic bunker, one can survive for a period ranging from one month to three months, which is enough to save yourself from the explosion of an atomic bomb. You will need long-term canned food and large tanks of water, toilets, and of course the beds. You will need to have a generator that guarantees electricity and a radio to get in touch with the outside world if anyone survives. As long as the ambient radiation level outside has not dropped below a safe limit, you don't have to go outside. And if you are in the bunker of the survival condo in Kansas, you can stay there for up to five years. It is one of the largest and safest luxury bunkers in the world, built to house incredibly wealthy people, and has one of the highest levels of military-grade security. It is an engineering marvel, designed for comfortable long-term survival. Its exact location is not disclosed for security reasons. It is spread over 15 floor S and reaches up to 60 meters underground. Features indoor swimming pool, grocery stores, cinema, gym, library, dog park, theater, shopping mall, shooting range and bar and rooms with simulated windows to give you the feeling that you are not really 11 floors underground. A full floor unit costs a whopping dollar three million. If you want to save money, you can get a half-floor unit, which costs only $1,500,000. The average cost for the construction of a very small anti-nuclear bunker is around 20 30000 euros. The cost depends on how many people it will have to accommodate, and therefore on the size of the bunker. A bunker between 30 and 40 square meters requires an average cost ranging from 60 to 90,000 euros. 
To build one, you need all the municipal permits, as all applicable regulations must be respected, and given the importance of the project, everything must be planned down to the smallest detail. Just think that in Switzerland, there are 360,000 FOB shelters which, in case of need, guarantee a place for the entire population. This was possible, thanks to a law from the 1960s that made it mandatory to build an underground bunker for each house, and they must be self-sufficient for at least six months for what concerns food, water, and air. 